revolver versus semi-auto. I hear a lot of people talking a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, we're going to go through and do a few tests. And I'm going to test uh, the Taurus handgun against the Taurus revolver. Um, there's very few companies that make both revolvers and semi-autos. And even fewer that I have an ex example of both in <laughs> at, at, at the ready. So I'm using these two guns. And the first test of, of several we're going to do, the first test is going to be shooting from clothing, shooting from a pocket. Is Does the revolver really hold an advantage over the semi-auto? So we're going to find out. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the Taurus uh, G2C, uh, Fiocchi ammo, Katanica jacket, right pocket. And uh, so let's just see how this works. Okay, so three, three rounds. Without pointing the gun at my camera guy, that's what we got right there. Let's see what happened. Got caught in the liner of the jacket, so let's pull that out. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, so what I did the first time was I held it up towards the top, the top of the pocket, to get it close to the top and it jammed up the second time I held it down and it ran the rounds out. So, here's our jacket. Now let's try the revolver. So come around to this side. Six shot Taurus revolver. Uh, the, the 856. Guy. <laughs> so, the 856. Okay. So, six rounds through the revolver. Uh, no, no issues. I'm going to try the uh, semi auto again. So, the closest thing I have to another pocket on here on this particular model is this, this chest pocket. And so, I'm going to see how it works if I hold, the, the, hold it towards the, the bottom of the pocket. So, no problem there. I'm gonna shoot the revolver. I don't have another pocket, but I do have another sleeve. So I'm gonna shoot the revolver through the sleeve. I'm gonna try to aim it, actually. It gets hot in there. <laughs> it really does, it gets hot inside that sleeve. And I'm gonna do one more test with the semi-auto through the sleeve. If I get this unloaded. Okay, this time uh, into the jacket sleeve, which which kind of kind of simulates a pocket, and uh, I'm not going to hold it up or down. I'm just going to hold it uh, inside the sleeve, and we'll see how this how this works. You can see the sight right there. Ooh, ooh, hot. <laughs> so fired all the rounds. So what I would say, uh, like my my conclusion is. If you understand how this gun works and you cheat the pocket, cheat the gun down inside the pocket, uh, it should work fine. But never was it a problem that the rounds weren't ejecting out of the gun. So it, the, the material got caught in the slide. It was closing on around to fire when it got caught. So it's not really the ejection that's the issue that most people think or say. Uh, it's just the, the, the clothing getting bound into the into the workings. So if you cheat it down a little bit or if you train a little bit, hold it out. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe it's an issue for the semi-auto inside of the pocket. This is James Jaeger with Tad Response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight, even if you got to blow up your Katanica jacket, never ends. Thanks, Katanica.